This will be a speed test between the Google Pixel 5 versus the Google Pixel 4 XL. Now the Pixel 5 has the Snapdragon 765G with a nice and hefty 8 gigs of RAM. Google Pixel 4 XL has the Snapdragon 855, 6 gigs of RAM, and as always, both phones on the latest version of Android, Android 11. Hashtag Team Pixel, stand up for this one. So let's go ahead and turn on both phones at the same time, see which one has the faster boot up, and let's go. Google Pixel 5 versus Google Pixel 4 XL speed test. What will happen right now? Ooh, the Pixel 4 XL, super fast. Oh, wow. My goodness. Easy win for the Pixel 4 XL on boot up. That was impressive. And we are in. All right, man, let's get right into it. I'm going to swipe over. These are the apps I'm going to be using for this speed test. I'm going to go like this on both phones. No recent items. All apps, caches, the browsers, everything has been cleared out. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. Hmm, 4XL I think. Slow down the video. Messages. Very close. I think that was the 4XL again. The camera. Now pick up both phones so you can see the viewfinder. Slightly faster on the 4XL. Let's fire up the clock on both phones. Ooh, very close. I think that one was the draw. Calculator. Draw again. Play Store. Another draw, wow. Let's see, let's click on this one. Amazon. Okay, tiny bit faster on the 4XL, I think, but slow down the video for me. I'm gonna click on this one and then click on this one. We'll go ahead and leave it there. And then we do have eBay. Very close. Let's see, I'm gonna click on, what's the same item here? I don't know, I'm just gonna click on a random item on both and we'll leave it here. And then Mario Run, let's go. A little bit faster on the 4XL. Tap to begin. Ooh, very close, but I think that was the 4XL taking it. Temple Run, two. Spooky Summit, okay. The 4XL, a little bit out in front here. We'll play on both. And then Subway Surf. Loading on both phones. Ooh, give the win to the four. XL, tap to play. And then Angry Birds 2. Starting up and logging in on both phones. Ooh, very close on this one. Ooh, I think the five is ahead. And we'll give the win to the Pixel 5 on this one. And then this one, Asphalt 9, let's go. I think the 4 is out in front. Will the Pixel 5 catch up? And we'll give, ooh, very close, but we'll give the win to the 4XL. And then we'll get out of this. And then of course, we gotta test out the PUBG. Hearing noise from the 4XL first. Oh. Neck and neck. Oh. We'll give the win to the 4XL on this one. Now both are on different displays, but I'll give the slight edge to the 4. And what is all this? Continue. All right, we don't need to see all this. But overall, very similar speeds on both. Remember the 5 is a Snapdragon 765G, so a mid-range processor on the 5. And then Twitter is about the same. Instagram, ooh, 5XL, or the 5 on that one. Speaking of which, you think Google should make a Pixel 5XL? Let me know in the comments. Snapchat, slightly ahead on the 4XL, and then finally, we do have Chrome on both phones. We'll do a real quick browsing test. Do a search for, whoops, do a search for this GSM Arena, GSM Arena, and I don't see it. Boom, go.
and a little bit faster on the right. Now, can I pinch to zoom? I cannot. I got to go to the desktop version. So we'll click on the desktop version here. Go. We'll check this out. Ooh. Oh, oh, very close. I think it was actually the five a little bit faster. Now this you can take it with a grain of salt. You know, sometimes it depends on the Wi-Fi as well. But generally, you know, browsing is acceptable, I'd say, on both phones. And with the 90 hertz display on both, this is buttery smooth. Okay, I'm gonna scroll. I'm gonna scroll. This one had to like refresh the page a little bit. But as you can see, swiping around nice and fast on the 90 hertz. See, I'm gonna click on, what can I click on? iPhone 12 Pro Max specs, we'll check it out. Which one is faster here? Oh, 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 I think this one was 4XL a little bit quicker. But again, could also be the Wi-Fi, but generally nice and usable on both phones when it comes to the web browsing. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the RAM management on both phones. Everything's in the background, check that out. Now again, with the 90 hertz displays of these phones, the swiping from left to right is just so buttery smooth. It just enhances the entire experience in my opinion. I love it. Go through these apps again, and we'll have a look for any lag, any stutters. Looking good on both phones. On the PUBG, this one. And what is this, an ad? Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Let's see if I can get rid of that. There we go click play and you can continue. So no reloads yet on both Angry Birds. All right, that's a weird little stutter, but it's still there, Subway Surf. Ready to resume on both. Oh, they reloaded the next game. And then the Pixel 5 keeps it right there. You can continue. All right, so we'll take a note of that. Mario Run. And then the 4 XL, I think it's gonna start to reload now. All right, eBay. Okay, a little bit of a slowdown on the right. So remember, six gigs of RAM, this one has eight. Amazon, okay, a little bit of a lag here on the right. And I think this was a reload on Amazon. Yep, reloaded Amazon. Play Store, same place. Calculator, stutter on the right. Clock, a little bit of a stutter again on the right. Camera on both phones. Ooh. Very close. Messages. Hmm, that was a weird one, I didn't see. Huh. Let me know. And of course, the phone oh. app. A little bit faster on the five. Boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup. Are you on hashtag team pixel? If so, if you have a pixel four or a pixel four XL, are you gonna upgrade to the pixel five? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, peace out.